Welcome back everyone to Pro News. We've got a packed financial update for you. Let's get started. All right, let's break it down for you. The dollar index has been on an upward streak for the last 11 weeks, even hitting its peak since last November. A lot of this momentum comes from the booming economy and the clear message from the Fed that they're not messing around. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While a strong economy with great job numbers, big spending and solid company profits sounds amazing, it also means the Fed might still want to cool things down. The big buzz right now? Expecting high rates to stick around for a while. But remember, the FX game has its twists. The dollar did pull back for a bit towards the end of last week. So, is this a tiny bump or are we looking at a bigger shift? Guess we'll find out in the upcoming week. Stay tuned! Here's the scoop on gold. The price has dipped below $1,850 per ounce. That's the lowest we've seen since March and the steepest drop this year. Now what's the deal with this? Rising government bond yields are luring investors with yields soaring over 5%, which we haven't seen since before the big financial crisis. But there's another twist in our gold story, the dreaded death cross. Sounds intense, right? It's when the 50-day moving average slides below the 200-day one. We spotted this sign just last week. It happened three times in the past three years. Every time, gold's price took a roughly 7% hit before trying to find its footing. If history is any guide, we could see gold dropping to around $1,810. So buckle up, this roller coaster might have some more drops ahead. Let's talk stock markets. It's been a pretty scary week and we even hit extreme fear levels. If you believe CNN's fear and greed index, we dropped down to 24, a low we haven't seen since March. But traders, they're a resilient bunch. Many started seeing this dip as a chance to grab some stocks on the cheap. Case in point, the Nasdaq 100 tumbled to 14,450, a low we haven't seen since June. And the S&P 500 is hovering near a three-month low, getting pretty cozy with its 200-day average. Fun fact, we saw a similar dip in March, and it wasn't long before buyers jumped back in. So, are we gearing up for a replay? Time to dive into the oil sector. Oil prices surged to their yearly peak with the US grade WTI even touching $93 per barrel for a bit. What's fueling this? Well, US inventories are thinning out. Plus, there were signs of China's economy bouncing back, which usually means they're thirsty for more oil. Meanwhile, Russia's been curbing their oil product exports to balance its local market. Now, while the world's talking about cutting down on fossil fuels, the truth is, we're still relying on them pretty heavily right now. Here's the kicker. Oil prices went up just as stocks took a nosedive. It's almost like when oil's thriving, stocks feel the pinch. But if oil prices drop, it might just be a green light for riskier investments. Interesting dynamics at play, huh? All right, on to the crypto scene. Looks like crypto found some solid ground, at least for now. Bitcoin caught some eyes and wallets when it dipped to 26,000 early in the week. Then it made its way to 27,200 by month's end. Here's the buzz among crypto enthusiasts. Bitcoin managed to cross that 50-day average, a line it's been playing under since the start of August. So the million dollar, or should I say Bitcoin question, when's our rocket to the moon launching? Stay tuned. Now for this week's financial forecast. The Reserve Bank of Australia is gearing up for another interest rate decision this week. They've held it steady at 4.1% since June, but they've been dropping hints of a potential increase. So the big question, will they follow through or dial back on their claims? Also, keep an eye out for the ISM Manufacturing and Services Report released this week. They're the indication of the economy's health in September. Now the grand finale for this week, the monthly jobs report. Trust me, it's going to be the talk of the town in the financial world. Strong numbers in job and wage growth are good news for the dollar, but they might send some jitters through the stock market. Strap in for an interesting week ahead.